hello, good day to you, it's talking really. And I thought I would do a new series. <laughs> it's called Anyone Surprised by This? I don't think so. <laughs> and uh, the first episode in the series is uh, are, Is anyone surprised by this? The government is paying the Sun and Daily Mail for positive coverage of its coronavirus response. <laughs> yes, it's no surprise. So, is anyone surprised by this? I, I don't think so. Uh, I don't think so. Uh, anyway, this story uh, was out uh, on the 28th, which is yesterday. It says that uh, the story, the, the government is lining the pockets of a large new, newspaper groups with editorials praising its response. And as we know, the response has been hmm, debatable, put it that way. I'm not going to say any more, just in case somebody is listening. And... Uh, we all know what happened to the live stream the other day, and yeah, so say no more. I mean, we are dealing with some pretty sick, twisted stuff here. So this story says the government appears to have orchestrated a wide-scale content marketing blitz across national newspapers, including Sun and the Daily Mail. Sponsored editorials were posted at around midnight on selected days throughout May pointing to how well they're doing. Say what? <laughs> oh, I find that shocking. <laughs> yes. A number of similar pieces have appeared in regional publications, each highlighting how the support is helping firms in the areas. An FOI request has been filed to ascertain the cost of the positive media campaign but an unverified estimate suggests that it could run into the hundreds of thousands of pounds mark. They are likely to form part of the All In All Together advertising campaign, which claimed to put 35 million in the pockets of the beleaguered newspaper industry. But according to this week's Private Eye, we all know who he, who the editor of that is, Ian, on, uh, on telly. The money is largely going to large newspaper groups which already have not so inconsiderable revenues. The Centre for Community Journalism at Cardiff University surveyed its network of independent local news publishers and found none of them had received a penny from the advertising spend. Now, no surprises. Anyone surprised by this? Many of the titles selected also seem to be the ones who are most sympathetic to the government's response to the current crisis, making the marketing bonanza all the more perplexing. <laughs> anyway, that's the story. Hope you enjoyed it. And uh, watch out for another one in the series. Anyone surprised by this? because I'm not. Bye for now. <laughs>